Hi, welcome to Eden Studios. I'm Natalie, I'm the studio manager here. I'll give you a tour around. Follow me. So here we have Studio One and it's fantastic. Here in Studio One, we have a 64 channel SSL G Series with a G Series computer. Total recall also. And if you pan next door, you'll be able to see the large recording area with two vocal booths and a drum booth. Okay, so we'll leave the mixing and recording room and walk you through to the recording area in through here. Right, this is our large recording area. We have three ISO booths. One of them is back in the other studio here. Um, very, very popular with um, large bands, orchestral, live music also. And if we come around here, this is the main drum booth. And this is Mike, our technical director, so he can probably give you a bit Hello. more of an idea of what goes on in this area. Well, I think Natalie said it all, actually. Um, we've, as, as she said, we've got the three booths. This is the large ISO booth. And we've got uh, variable acoustics in this room. So I'll give you a quick demonstration. So you can change from really live sound to dead sound very, very quickly. And all the panels in the booth change. Quite dramatic. See you later, Mike. Thank Bye. you. Where Karen is hard at work, slaving away over a hot stove. Is renowned for her cooking. Fantastic chef. Yeah, well, I'm upstairs to see you. <laughs> if you mention that, that there's pictures that are up there. Upstairs? <laughs> Come on up. <laughs> Okay, this is Studio 2. Follow me. Right, so here is Studio 2. And what we have is a 60 channel SSL desk, E series, with a G series computer. We have tons of outboard equipment and a fantastic booth with variable acoustics. The booth is being used at the moment, so you'll have to excuse the disarray. But here we are, set up for vocals. No. This is Out of Eden. It's a sound and sound to picture room, 5.1 surround sound, run by Andy Richards. This is just the kitchenette area. And through here is Andy himself, and Andy will give you a little explanation of what goes on in here. Hi Natalie, thank you. Hi, my name's Andy Richards, and uh, I run Out of Eden, here within the Eden Studio Complex. And uh, Out of Eden is a partnership between me and the, uh, the two directors, Mike and Philip. And it's designed to be different from probably any studio you've seen before. It's sort of a post-stereo uh, modular digital facility. And by that we mean that uh, in, instead of just having the traditional desk and tape machine, what we have here is three workstations uh, all networked together and talking to each other, which creates the studio as a whole. Further to that, we also have a, a, a very sophisticated non-linear uh, video machine which plays back and works in sync with the Fairlight. So that all together, when you link all these machines together, what you have is uh, a multi-channel uh, studio capable of dealing with sound and sound picture uh, in what we believe is a, is a rather kind of unique way. Because everything here is completely digital, it means that if you were looking at us from a sort of an album perspective, it would mean that we could recall a complete album, uh, tweak all the tracks and lay it back in well under a day. It means that we have total recall of everything and it is completely instantaneous. Uh, the sort of clients that we've been dealing with recently, we've just, we just finished doing a Robbie Williams mix uh, for the new movie Johnny English starring Rowan Atkinson. 
Uh, we uh, mixed a Kylie Minogue DVD last year, the Gorillaz DVD. Uh, we were very fortunate to be able to mix the music for the new Stephen Frears movie, Dirty Pretty Things, which is a, a great British movie. And um, previously we've worked on music for Bridget Jones' Diary, um, Ali G, Pearl Officer, and have done mixes for artists as diverse as Robbie Williams, David Byrne, Jerry Halliwell. So, in Out of Eden, what we try to do is not to be specific about our role. More because I run it, it means that it can operate as an extreme high-end studio, uh, all the way down to being, if necessary, a programming room. And the idea was to have a studio that was much more flexible than the traditional studio can be. And I, I think, in part, it's possible to do that because it's run by me rather than as a facility within, a, within an organisation where you have... Uh, a resource which you know has to be used in a particular way and it's that flexibility uh, in Out of Eden which appeals to me largely because I'm a musician and as a musician I've always thought it wouldn't be nice to go somewhere where you it could have kind of multi-functionality and maybe one day you would hire it for a certain price because you were programming and the next day you would pay something different because you were doing a stereo mix and then the final day you maybe work sound to picture and it would be a different price at all. In other words, have a completely flexible view on the work ethic. But uh, as well as uh, looking at that side of it, the other aspect for me which was very important was to have uh, a delightfully warm, sort of homey, comfortable vibe within the studio, which is why, if, uh, I don't know if you can see them, but we have lots of uh, green Kentia fern plants in here and lovely lighting, which means that uh, the studio resembles more as like a cross between a living room and a studio than just a recording studio in itself. I wanted to get away from the feeling that if I was going to be in a studio for you know the rest of my life, to, to be somewhere which was as relaxed as possible and in a way you know you can make this into just a sort of a super duper sort of home video room if you wish to. And so those are the sort of the basic concepts behind Out of Eden uh, as it stands at the moment. What we've done with this vocal booth is to raise the floor ever so slightly so that uh, when an artist is singing in here they're actually looking out at the studio in profile but also looking down and I think this helps give them a great feeling of sort of comfort and performance rather than in so many studios where the singer will be literally confronted and almost eyeballing the engineer and the producer. You can't really do that in a 5.1 room because you quite often have a speaker in the way anyway. So we thought very nice to have the, the vocal booth offset so that there's direct eye contact when you want it, but when you don't want it, then the, the artist has a certain degree of privacy when they're actually performing, which a lot of them actually like to have.